a sea of red everywhere you look. Take a look here. That was the site that greeted folks at South Oak Cliff High School. Vandals dumped red dye all over the place, and it's only the latest incident in a string of problems that parents say have plagued the area for years. News 8's Demond Fernandez is live with this story. Demond. Hey there, Alicia. I am outside South Oak Cliff High School right now, and just take a look back here at the mess community members have been complaining about. Now, it's unclear whether this red dye covering South Oak Cliff High School's parking lot is some type of prank, an accident, or an act of vandalism, but I can tell you this, it's causing a lot of questions right now. Well, this afternoon, environmental crews have been busy outside South Oak Cliff High School. They've been analyzing this red dye-like substance that's been dumped near the school's Garza Avenue parking lot entrance. Now, complaints about the red colored paint or dye started coming in on Wednesday. Community members tell us they began reporting the mess. It's covering the school's parking lot, the tires on dozens of cars, it's staining the neighborhood streets. There's even a trail of the same colored reddish dye along the street from I-35 South and Keast all the way here to South Oak Cliff High School's campus. Now right now the city of Dallas Stormwater Management Trinity Watershed is assisting Dallas ISD to determine the best way to tackle cleaning up this mess. We don't know if it's vandalism. We don't know if this was uh, intentional or not. So uh, we're just wanting to find out more information and if the public is, is able to lend any support and help in that way, that would really be appreciated. And that was Dallas ISD spokesperson Robin Harris. She says no cameras at the school captured any of the action, so there are no solid leads to determine the source of this spill right now. A reward is available, and the school district's urging anyone with tips right now to call Crime Stoppers. Now, coming up on Channel 8 News at 5, I'll have more reaction about this spill back here from community members in this area, and neighbors sure do have a lot to say about this. At South Oak Cliff High School, Demond Fernandez, Channel 8 News. Really is a jarring sight, Demond. Thank you. Checking on 